Hi folks, it's good to be with you. Uh, I'd like to talk about the crucifixion and Islam. My website is jasonburnspreacher.com and um, I just want to talk about the crucifixion and Islam. Here we have a Quran. It's good to be with you. Here we have a Quran and um, here we have a Bible. And uh, I just want to talk about this issue of crucifixion and Islam. I've had a couple of high profile debates. I debated a Muslim apologist called Aquil, where we touched upon the crucifixion. And I debated recently Ali Dawa on the crucifixion. And I recently also debated uh, a Muslim, uh, another Muslim, uh, which is a lot of people have seen, about 6,000 people have seen that video, 7,000 people have seen the video concerning Ali Dawa. So I just want to talk about Islam and the Quran. Now, in Surah 4157, so if we go to that Surah 4, Surah 4, One five seven sort of four one five seven it says they declared we have put to death the Messiah Jesus son of Mary the messenger of God they did not kill him nor did they crucify him but it only seemed to them is it have it been is have it have been so and those who differ in this matter are in doubt concerning it they have no definite knowledge about it but only follow mere conjecture but they certainly do not kill him. God raised him towards himself. God is almighty and wise. So that's what the Quran says. Now, I debated Ali Dawah and his argument is that if the Quran is the word of God, then what it says about, um, about um, the crucifixion, that Jesus was not crucified, would be right. That was his argument. My argument was that all the historical data, historical evidence, proves categorically Jesus died. So, for example, I'm going to give you some of that evidence. In the Bible, we have in Matthew 27, 35, then they crucified him. In Mark 15, 24, and then they crucified him. In Luke 23, 33, and when they had come to the place called Calvary, then they crucified him. John 19, 23, and then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments. We have eyewitnesses. A centurion officer, over a hundred men, guarded Jesus and, as he died on a cross in Matthew 27, 54. Roman soldiers who beat Jesus sat and watched him die, Matthew 27, 27, 36. Chief priests, scribes and elders all watched Jesus die, Matthew 27, 41. And many unnamed women who Jesus had known watched him die, Matthew 27, 55. Even his own family in John 19, 25, 27 watched Jesus die. Now they stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Madeline. And when Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciples whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciples, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciples took her to his own home. John nineteen twenty-five twenty-seven. So, scriptures, the Bible, says that Jesus died based on eyewitnesses, there were eyewitnesses there that actually say that he died. Now, we have historical information. We have uh, Thalus, an ancient historian who wrote, who wrote three volume history. And Thalus mentions the darkness that occurred at the death of Jesus, recorded in Matthew 27, 45. We have Cornelius Tatatus, 55 to 120 AD, this respected Roman historian talks about Christus who suffered the extreme penalty during the reign of Tiberius at the hands of Pontius Pilate. We have Lucian of Samosius in 115-200 AD, a well-known satirist and lecturer, uh, who said to the Christians as poor wretches and foolish people who accept such things as faith alone and on faith alone without any evidence, he also calls them ones who worship the man in Palestine who was crucified because he brought this new form of initiation into the world. world. Um, 
we have Josephus, uh, who says Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate, uh, another ancient rock, Jewish historian. And we have the Talmud, which says Jesus was hanged, which is synonym for crucifixion. Then we have prophecies. Matthew 17, 22, 23, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is about to be betrayed in the hands of men, and they will kill him. The third day he will be raised up. Mark 10, 45, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, to give his life a ransom for many. So, on top of all that, the Quran contradicts itself. You have... Uh, You have, um, I think, uh, just trying to. Um, oh yeah, in Surah nineteen thirty-three, Jesus speaks as an infant and says, "So peace is on him. The day I was born, the day that I die, the d and that day I shall be raised up to life again." So there is. A in the Quran it's saying that Jesus would die. So it's saying he, he didn't die, but now it's saying he did die. We have apostolic reaction and statement about Christ dying. For I delivered unto you first that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15:34. So, all the historical data, all the main scholars in, in G, historical Jesus studies, Dominic Crossan, Bart Ehrman, N.T. Wright, uh, Gerd, Ludemann, etc. These are, some of these are atheists, some are Christians. Guderman is an atheist. Richard Carey is an atheist. Um, Crossan is a skeptic. Um, and Bart Ehrman is a skeptic. They all believe that Christ died. So, Ali Dao's argument is, well, if this is the word of God, then Jesus didn't die. My argument is, well, the evidence is so overwhelming against you that the historical evidence proves that the Quran is not the word of God. That's my argument. Um, the only defense that Ali Dao gave was that the Bible's changed, and so therefore the Quran is the word of God. That doesn't make sense. Um, going into textual criticism, going into uh, the canon, doesn't prove or disprove that Jesus rose from the dead. Um, what I did is I've given, in my debates, mountains of evidence that Christ died. And the Muslims are not given any evidence to show that Christ did not die. They're just using a circular argument saying that the Quran's the word of God, so therefore Jesus didn't die. Well, how is the Quran the word of God? Because the Quran's the word of God. They're not actually given an argument. I said that, they said, bring a surah like it. And I said, a surah has been brought like it uh, to Ali Dawud. He said, what? I said, the satanic verses. He said, are you joking? But um, what's interesting is that he said that that uh, Ibn Ishaq, who, who talked about the satanic verses, that he wasn't a reliable historian, that he, he, he didn't verify whether it was fact or fiction. And that was blatantly not correct. If you read the first 100 pages of Ibn Ishaq, you find that Ibn Ishaq uh, says that this person saw this person, and sometimes he says, I'm not too sure about this evidence. Sometimes he says, I'm, I'm sure and there's evidence here. So. He, he does make it clear that sometimes he's saying that actually this has been reported correctly. And if I'm not mistaken in the satanic verses, he doesn't say I'm not too sure about it, like Ali Dawa states. So the satanic verses are an example that the Quran has been matched in its so-called greatness. So, yeah, so... The evidence is overwhelmingly against you Muslims and you need to th rethink your, your thinking. 
Jesus died for your sin, he gave his life for you on the cross, uh, and that's what you need to be thinking about. So God bless you, and thank you for listening. God bless you.